Oh my god, let's go. I have never played these characters in my life. What can she do? I don't know what she does. Okay, no, all right. I, I, I okay, I, seriously, I did not know this was an infinite. I just, it just clicked to me that this makes sense. Oh my god, you have to ban. Look at this, look, this is so easy. It's just jab short, medium. <laughs> oh my god, jab short, medium punch, medium kick. Heavy punch, heavy kick. Jesus Christ. What's up everybody? This is Justin Wong and we are back with an amazing banger of a video. Obviously the Marvel vs. Capcom collection is coming out. So I'm able to just check everything out in terms of features, the offline stuff. When If you're looking for an online review, that will be literally the day of because i'm going to be playing lots of games on there but this is more of like a offline review of the full retail version so if you guys want to see the action hit the like share subscribe turn on bells notification and big shouts to capcom for you know letting your boy getting this copy and checking it out and reporting it back to all of you guys enjoy the video oh they got the gallery going on i don't want to spoil it for you but it was gallery there's music, fighter awards, it's kind of like the achievements that you want to focus on. Uh, let's go to training mode for Marvel's Capcom 2. All right, so obviously you, what's really cool is the hurt boxes, the hurt boxes on the buttons. That's obviously something we don't have when it comes to Marvel's Capcom 2. Uh, this is new though, you see that? The fact that you can do soft reset. This is a game changer. I actually found this out during PAX. And you can kind of switch sides as well too but you can't if well, whoever's your point character that's who it's going to reset to so if you switch to sun sun it will go back to ruby heart so you know we can't we can't have it all i guess right yeah i think i think it actually feels pretty good like we we played marvelous capcom 2 in like other places and everything and i think i think it, it does really good obviously you have the speed what is the default? Free select 2. Right? The EX settings. Boot display. Oh, I want to see what boot display does. Secret characters. Is this... Oh, is this like turning it... Oh, look at that. Color and same characters enabled. Ah, okay. So that's the secret characters. And you can obviously... The fact that you can do this and choose the same character so you can pick same characters i wonder if this if this applies to online as well too so see characters all groups enable color and same characters enabled as well too so enabled so disabled means hidden colors doesn't get it enable you get the hidden colors and this one's you could choose the colors and have the same character so like triple magneto triple triple whatever you want normally if i want to speed run I usually just pick Mag, Storm, Sentinel. I want my needle to go first, so always hold the P1 assist to get the little nice glitch. Right? Hold the button down, it'll go first attack. Usually you can speed run just like this. Uh uh, uh uh, uh uh, uh uh, uh uh, uh uh. Aww. Ooh, that did mad damage. This, I, I think this is an error, right? Like the way it's tilted. I think the score ranking. I think it's supposed to be straight, but it seems like that was kind of, kind of weird. I, I think that's a visual bug, maybe. Yeah, I think maybe it's that's a visual bug. I wonder if the Sentinel sound bug is still there as well, too. I think he has to hit me. Yeah, you see that. That was like destroy. The rock. Boom. Easy peasy. The ha ha. Ah. The EM Destructor. I'm excited to play like you guys in Marvel's Capcom right here. I think it's going to be pretty, pretty fun. Maybe I could do something where I get like the world record for points and time, like I did. I 
I don't know how to do that combo actually. I gotta learn how to do that that, that combo. Who's a who? All right, let's try the other other games actually. Go with Marvel's Capcom game settings, game difficult. Let's go default. Okay. Available modes, free select, manual only, easy mode. That's like the Capcom's like modern mode for Mars Capcom. EX setting. So secret characters, you get the easy select. Oh, you can even disable the secret characters too as well. All right, you know what we gotta try, right? Obviously, if you just tap the button, you can just go to the secret characters. So that definitely just helps a lot because sometimes remembering the code is not the easiest. Oh, you could choose your assist like that? Oh, bro, that this is like Mars Capcom 1 style. It was like the PS1 style, right? That's what that reminds me of. That's actually pretty cool. So now let's see. I want to see what this looks like. Because if you guys know in the arcade, it's like pretty jank right here. Oh, yep. Yeah. Still here. <laughs> that is the arcade classic. And then, what is it? You have controller settings as well, too. So you could definitely, like, button map, right? Can you button map? No, I don't think you can. Hold on. So special move. Oh, yes, you can. Be like the fight, the fight cave people. I think that's gonna be the hard, the hard part to like. You can't, now you can't stop the, the people the macro Marvel vs. Capcom one. Because I don't think you can nullify it and like just make it not happen. But oh well, that's like the new era, right? Let's see, where's my boy? We got Venom, Spider Man. Okay, so here you have to pick your assist, like hold start, pick your assist manually and everything. Red Venom is so good. Oops. Level two. Hey. hey. Oh. <laughs> that still works. Seems like the Mars Capcom one like things, the shenanigans that you can do, that still works. Okay, let's see. Then we have Marvel Super Rush Street Fighter. Reselect and everything. Secret character. How do you pick secret characters in this game, though? I am curious on how do you pick the secret characters in this. All right. And then Mephisto is a thing. Oh, Zangief. That's where Mephi Zangief was? Not Mephisto? Damage seems... I don't know. I haven't played this game for a long time. It seems like the damage is low. Maybe? I'm not sure. <laughs> Oh, that, that did a lot though. Wait, am I? Can I grab you while you're in the ground in the, with air SPD? Oh, I gotta check this out. Oh, let me find out this this guy's meta. Let me try training mode. Let's see how training mode is. Obviously, we got Wolverine. Uh, where was Charlie? I really don't remember where these characters are. I think it's Chung Li. No, wrong. I was wrong. Uh, Dawson? Alright, Dawson's at Charlie. Okay, so obviously we have this. Can we re- can we- oh yeah, we can reset here too. Damn, so every game has a reset. Seems about right, actually. Oh, chun is so bad, right? Oh, there's a knockdown? Wait, what? How did, how did that happen? 
Whoa, that's weird. That's not a knockdown. That's knocked down. But if you do it high enough, and that causes a knockdown. They nerf they nerf this this they nerf this team alright, that's for sure. Then we have X-Men versus Street Fighter. Yeah, the one sad thing about this is obviously people talk about you know the, the the version, right? This is the one that people are like, oh man. Actually it's it seems like some of you were like fans of it. Some of you weren't fans of it. I couldn't tell. Because when I posted this tweet about like, oh, this is a different version. Um, so like, for example, like Cy the, the infamous Cyclops Infinite is not there. But then if you pick like Akuma, his infinite is there. Right? So so like, I don't know. It doesn't remove every infinite. Like this should this just removes like I would say like you see it that just that does the spike. Yeah, Akuma can still do his. Yeah, let me just not suck. And then he also has this glitch Tatsu, which does like 30% health. X-Men versus Street Fighter. I'm actually quite happy that I can just like boot up a training mode and call it. I don't know what else has changed, but like obviously Storm, she also can't do the infinite. This is like the my team that I normally use. Uh, but Chun Li seems like she's still the same. Like she still has like Crouch Medium Kick Super and everything. But like if I did something like this, it just like automatically spikes. So that that spikes, and I think like a uh, lightning attack. Yeah, see. But she could still do this. Like they didn't move they didn't move any of this. The natural speed. And you could technically, if you're good, you could do that as an infinite. Yeah, so that that's obviously a little a bit more skillful. And then Shang Li, I mean she still got this. That's like the, the the goat. Ooh, maybe Cammy, maybe Cammy might be the play. I don't, I don't know what's the tier list like in this version, but Cammy seems kind of nice. Oh, but you get grabbed into lightning storm that does like a crap ton of damage. A row, row, mun, roll. Marvel superheroes. What is the game setting for Marvel? Oh. Attack power, timer speed. Oh, so you can do like first to five, first to three. Secret characters. Oh, wait, what? Wait, how do you pick? How do you pick Dr. Doom and Thanos? Actually, that's kind of hype. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. Where's Dr. Doom though? Dr. Doom. Okay, we got, we chose Anita. Thanos. Oh my god. Let's go. I have never played these characters in my life. What can she do? I don't know what she does. Oh. Oh, she got double jump? Hold up. Okay. No. All right. I. I. I... Okay. I, seriously, I did not know this was an infinite. I just. It just clicked to me that this makes sense. Oh my god, you have to ban. Look at this. Look, this is so easy. It's just jab short, medium. <laughs> oh my god. Jab short, medium punch, medium kick, heavy punch, heavy kick. Jesus Christ. Oh, bro, why her why she got a good dash though? Wait, you go wave oh she go wave dash. Do I have special moves? Do I not have special moves? What the hell? What? Wait, how did I do that? What? Oh man, why is it? Why is S St Akuma here? Jesus Christ! I like the fact that like 
there's a reason to play Marvel Super Heroes. And I guess X-Men Children and Adam should also have it. Where you can pick secret characters. Children of the Adam. I'm kind of curious on that too. Just don't pick Anita and Marvel Super Heroes. Like that's obviously toxic. <laughs> Super toxic. Oh my god. I did Alright, where, where do we pick them? Wait, who, who's this one? Was this Akuma? I actually never played Akuma before. Oh my god! I always wanted to learn how to play Akuma in X-Men in X-Men Children Adam. Oh wait, this is shit Akuma? Not gonna lie, he moves kinda good. Oh why that oh man, why he got stunned? Oh that's my ex. That is so ST. Maybe Raging Demon's not a thing yet. Yo, he's kinda fast though. This is my character, guys. <laughs> Oh my god, he's not gonna lie, he's kinda cool. I don't think I have other supers, huh? I could Wait, did he just parry? I actually don't know how I got that. Well, you guys in the comments will let me know because I'm sure you guys played it more than me. Punisher! Bonus lives. This game was pretty good. I feel like a lot of people kinda slept on this game. Obviously this doesn't have a training mode, it's just like you play the game. This move's pretty good. I'm down to play this online with people, actually. I'm actually kind of curious if, like, can you one... Are there people out there that can one-shot this credit? Please don't kill me. He's at Castle Pantaburde, Florida. Uh, and, you know, Punisher, guys. He punishes people. Is he gonna do it in this one? Oh! God damn. Punisher, you're so violent. You're so violent. Oh, you could quick save too? Oh, starting stage? Bonus stage? Wait, question mark? I, yeah, I don't want to spoil. This is this is obviously a review copy from Capcom, so big shots to them. So I can't spoil too much, but I like these little options there that you can kind of skip through this. So overall, I think the the collection seems pretty good. I know just just for shits and giggles. Let's just kind of curious about it. Is there anything anybody up there? I just want to see. That's the one thing we haven't done yet. I just want to see what online has to do. Oh, there's people already playing. Warlord. Damn. You know what? Let's uh. Let me see. Event mode. Oh, look. One button special moves on. Event mode. Event mode. That's the quick match. Off arcade style. Oh, so event mode. You can always do the first attack glitch then. So it's not like arcade mode. Okay. Cross region matchmaking. All right. So that's playing people around the world. Any version, any game. Could not find such an joint. You know, I like I said, I was like I said, but I could see that this is pretty cool. Look at that game version. You can see either cross region. Surprisingly, they, they don't have the Punisher on here. I guess maybe Punisher is a different type of thing. Basic standby, in game standby, in game standby. Word. Okay. So if I do that, then it, it's going to just give me... You're telling me I could go training mode and wait for my match to happen? So this is me selecting games, and I guess this will just give me any. Yeah, this is pretty much any. Like, I'm down to play any match. Oh, that's so sick, actually. I know they did, They used to do that. I don't know. I remember they used to do that for the, the Street Fighter collection. The one with, like, the four games. What, ST, Alpha 3... I think hyper fighting and and third strike, right? I think that's the collection. Maybe I'm wrong, but I remember they did something like that. Uh, obviously, the online should be better here. I'm really hoping rollback um, really carries hard on this because, like I said, this is one of those things where I think I can probably play for a very, very long time if if it works like that. So I don't know. I think that'll be pretty darn cool if if that was a a thing. Who knows, right? But overall, I think everything's seems pretty darn good um now we just need to test online right this is more of like my review for offline and the features that it has to offer and even even we didn't test online the the things the quality of life stuff that you have like going in game in game mode standby training mode standby uh, waiting for a match that's pretty cool Selecting all those games is is pretty cool as well, too. Hope you guys enjoyed my review video for this or just me checking it out. Um, like I said, we weren't we're not allowed to go like super 
in-depth frame data detailed and you know maybe i am biased but this is a great marvel collection overall i, I am going to be playing on the steam version uh just because i don't know i just play on pc i bought the physical versions for switch and uh playstation so i'd rather not just buy the digital ones stay tuned for all that and i will see you guys in the next one peace have a good one guys see you later